conditioning is um, another area that we'll be spending a lot of time in. So like classical conditioning, associations are made. But counter conditioning, there's actually, we're trying to change the response that it has already created. So typically we're changing a fearful response and that's why we're gonna use this a lot um, here. So we want this fearful response to change into something that's content or relaxed. So in this example, the dog, there's a dog present and this dog shows stress or fear. Like classical conditioning, we're gonna add something that's really good and we're gonna do so over a period of time. And over time, these two things are gonna pair enough together where this dog doesn't seem so, or yeah, this dog doesn't seem so bad. So suddenly this dog, because it's been paired with something so great so many times is gonna be okay and we'll get this relaxed and happy state. 